to my little crochet corner my name is maham and i crochet things that turn your everyday objects into something a little bit cuter you can find some of my free patterns posted over here on my blog and if you like my work and want to support me with donations or purchase some of my coffee patterns you can do that over here today i'm going to be showing you how to create one of my most famous patterns that i put up on my blog but a lot of you have been asking for a video tutorial and i finally decided to do it it is the frog holding a heart pouch and i am beyond proud of this design it's really cute really adorable you can complete it in max three two to three hours depending on your level as a crocheter and i have made this tutorial very beginner friendly but then again you must have some kind of control over your hook and if you're a complete beginner starting this as your very first project i wouldn't recommend that because you do need control over your hook and a good grip and just some sort of beginner level ability so if this is your first project i would recommend my love letter book sleeve instead because it has a lot of repetition that would help you get better with your stitches and once you're done with that once you have the control over your hook you can then move on to the frog holding a heart pouch i've also shown you exactly how i like to hold and work with magic rings which is something that's difficult even for intermediate level crocheters that's something that i've only gotten the hang of in the past few months so magic rings and working with them is a bit tricky and i've tried to make it as easy as possible but this um project is very heavily made out of magic rings every single piece you see in this pouch is made using magic rings um just a warning if you absolutely hate working with magic rings then maybe this tutorial isn't for you um but yeah let's get started for this project i'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook and we're starting off with the off-white yarn to make the center of the frog's stomach so we're going to start off by making a magic ring you're going to wrap your yarn around your fingers like this, turn them around, insert your hook and grab onto this yarn, pick it up and twist, and now we have to chain two. I like doing the first chain just by grabbing onto the yarn and pulling it through like that, and then I'm going to let go and make my second chain. So we have a total of two chains, that's chain two. Now we're going to be inserting 10 double crochets inside our magic ring. So the way that I like to do is I'm going to hold on to the ring like this, leaving a bit of space here, yarn over, insert my hook, so look at how I'm inserting it, and then I'm going to grab the yarn, pull it up. I'm going to bring my fingers closer to give some tension. You're going to have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, making your double crochet. Let's do this one more time, yarn over, insert your hook. Grab onto the yarn, pull through two, pull through two. And there you go. Let's do 10 double crochets inside the magic ring and then I'll show you the next step. Here I have my 10 double crochets and then you're gonna take the end and you're gonna pull it really, really tight to get rid of that circle in the middle. And now we're going to be slip stitching to connect the round. You're gonna find your chain twos, that's chain one, chain two, and you're just going to slip stitch at the top of the chain two like that to connect it let me just make this tighter and now we're going to be starting our next round to start the next round you're going to chain two and then so that was our chain two so ignore this this is the first double crochet stitch that we're going to be working in so yarn over and now we're going to be inserting two double crochets in each stitch so that is my first double crochet in my first stitch. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into that same stitch, and put in a total of two double crochets in that stitch. And now we're just going to do this in all of the stitches. Just go around the round, inserting two double crochets in each stitch. Here I have 20 double crochets. Please do not insert a double crochet in this one. That is your slip stitch. It does not count as a stitch. You should have 20 starting, so your chain two doesn't count either. Starting from your first stitch all the way around till your last stitch, you should have 20 double crochets. And now we're going to be connecting our work. So you're just gonna slip stitch at the top of that chain two, like that. 
And now we're going to be getting our green yarn because we're going to be starting the green part of the frog's body. This part is going to be a bit tricky. So you're just going to take your scissors and cut your off-white yarn, whatever color you're using. Pull it and just keep a hold of your slip knot over here. So insert your hook into that slip knot, grab your green yarn, make a little loop with it like this, and then slide that green loop through the slip knot that you just did like that. And you can tighten this once you've done that. And now we're going to be chaining two and starting our round with the green. So chain two, one, two, now we're going to be following a pattern for round three and I'm going to be working over my ends as well. So this is not a stitch. This is the top of your chain two. This is your first stitch over here. So yarn over and insert one double crochet into that stitch. I want to be working over these ends. So I'm just going to keep them here and I'm going to work over them. Okay, that's our first double crochet. Now in the next stitch, we have to insert two double crochets. So our pattern is gonna be one double crochet, then in the next stitch, two double crochets. So in that same stitch, I have to insert two double crochets. And the written pattern would have this, um, these two steps written in asterisks. So one double crochet, and then two double crochets in the next stitch. And you're gonna repeat this until the end of your round. At the end of the round, you should have 30 double crochets, not counting your chain two. You can start counting your stitches from here all the way to the last one you did. And now we're going to be ending this round by slip stitching into the top of the chain two, just like before. And then we're gonna be starting our fourth and last round. So slip stitch at the top of the chain two like that. And this time instead of chaining two, we're going to be chaining just one because we're going to be doing single crochets instead of double crochets. The reason we're going to be doing single crochets next is because single crochets are smaller than double crochets and I don't want the green part of the front of the frog's body to be too big. That's why I'm going to be using single crochets since those stitches are smaller. The pattern we're going to follow here is we're going to do one single crochet for three stitches and then we're going to be doing two single crochets in the fourth stitch. So basically it's going to be one, 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 two. So one, next stitch, one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet. So that's one, one, one. And now we're going to do two single crochets in this one. So in three stitches, you do just one single crochet, and then in the fourth one, you do two single crochets. So let's do this one more time. One, 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 and then two in the same stitch. And you're going to do this all the way to the end. For any beginners out there, I'm so sorry I forgot to show you how to do a single crochet. You insert your hook, grab the yarn, and once you have two loops on your hook, you just yarn over and pull through all two. Please don't insert a stitch into this because that is your slip knot and not an actual stitch. This is your chain one. So slip stitch, chain one, and starting from here are your single crochets all the way over here. To end this round, we're gonna be going into that chain one and we're just gonna end it over here. So pull it through. We're going to directly start making the hands of the frog over here so you don't have to um, cut the yarn and reattach it or anything. Just chain one and in that same place where you did the slip stitch, insert your hook and make a single crochet. And then in the next three stitches, insert one single crochet more. So one, two, and three. That gives us a total of four single crochets. That is our row one for the hands. And now we're going to turn our work. We're not going to be chaining one. This gives us a neater edge for the hands. So don't chain one, just turn your work and then insert 
a single crochet into that same single crochet that you just made and single crochet in the next three stitches to have get to get a total of four it's one two three and four over here that is your chain one ignore it turn your work again for row three we're doing the same thing four single crochets one two three and four Now we're going to be giving the hands of the frog that curved edge. For this, we're going to be single crocheting two together. So you did three rows of one single crochet in each stitch. And now we're going to be single crocheting two together. Insert your hook in that same stitch, just like we did in the previous rows. Pull up a loop, but this time don't complete the single crochet. Instead, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and you should have three loops on your hook. Once you do, you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops to single crochet two stitches together we're going to do the same thing in the next two stitches pull up a loop but don't complete the single crochet go into the next stitch pull up a loop and once you have three loops yarn over and pull through all three that is your single crochet we're going to turn our work and we're going to be single crocheting our last two stitches together as well insert your hook pull up a loop go into the next stitch pull up a loop and yarn over pull through all three loops and that is what gives your frog's hand that curved edge and it's going to be folding in and it's going to be holding the heart over here now that we're done with this you can chain one or let's chain two to make it extra secure and then you can just cut your yarn pull and tighten that's called fastening off for any beginners and this is what you should have your cute little frog's hand we're going to repeat these same steps that we did over here on the opposite side right here so i found the stitch that's kind of parallel to the ones on the other side and you're going to make a loop with your green yarn and pull it through and then you're going to be i'm just going to make this a bit longer and then you're going to chain one and in that same stitch insert a single crochet we're just repeating the same steps as before there's nothing different we're just going to be repeating it on the other side so after you've chained one you're going to go into the next stitch you're going to make a total of four single crochets one two next stitch three four and now for the next two rows you're just going to be inserting one single crochet in each stitch giving you a total of four in the row now for our third row we're going to repeat the same thing one single crochet in each stitch three and four now we're going to be making the curved edge which is when we do the single crochet two together so go into the stitch pull up a loop but don't finish it go into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three repeat this in the next two stitches as well these are a bit tight okay and repeat this one more time so go into your two stitches that you have left and single crochet them together like that and there you go you have your second hand for the frog that's gonna fold inwards to hold the little heart now what you can do is you can fasten off that's chain two cut your yarn pull it and tighten now we're going to be making the back of the frog's body for this we're going to be repeating the same steps as the front of the back front of the frog's body we're going to do the back completely with green yarn so start off with the green yarn and chain two i'm going to do this really quickly i want to make sure that it is understandable for beginners out there but if you already remember the steps you can just do this by yourself after chaining two i'm going to insert 10 double crochets into the magic ring once you've got your 10 double crochets you just tighten it 
and then you slip stitch at the top of the chain two one two over here and now you're going to chain two to start the next round and you're going to be inserting two double crochets in each stitch so in the same stitch you're going to be putting two double crochets until you reach the end of your round and this is going to give you a total of 20 double crochets once you've got 20 double crochets you're going to slip stitch at the top of your chain two and then you're going to chain two again and now you're going to be doing one double crochet two double crochets so one two one two all the way around so i did my first double crochet and now in the next stitch i've got to insert two double crochets in that same stitch and then i'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way around so one and then two in the next stitch once you have a total of 30 double crochets you're going to end this round with a slip stitch at the top of your chain two just like all your previous rounds and now we're going to be doing our last round which will make our back piece the same size as our front piece and this is going to be our round of single crochets where you chain one and now you're going to be following the pattern one 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 two so one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet and in the next stitch two single crochets in that same stitch once you're done you just slip stitch and then you can chain one or two to secure and cut and there you go you should have your back piece and your front piece all ready now we're going to start by doing the little details we're going to do the green part of the eyes you're going to start off with a slip sorry a magic ring and then you're going to chain one and now you're going to be inserting nine half double crochets into the magic ring to make a half double crochet you yarn over insert your hook into the magic ring pull up a loop you should have three loops on your hook and then you just yarn over pull through all three loops and that is your half double crochet now the way that i chose um the stitches is according to their size and how big they would make the piece so for the green eyes we're going to be doing nine half double crochets into the magic ring and that will give me the size that i want for my eyes if you want bigger eyes you can use a bigger stitch like a double crochet or triple crochet even and that's just basically how it works once you have nine half double crochets, you can pull the end to tighten it. And look, you've got your little eye. And now we're just going to be fastening it off by slip stitching. Sorry, I'm just trying to make it tighter so the hole disappears. And now you're going to go and slip stitch. I'm going to slip stitch over here at the top of whatever stitch is closest to you. Like that and then you can chain one or two to fasten off and just cut it and you're going to be making two of these so make sure you've made two of these for the white part of the eyes we're going to start off once more with a magic ring and you're going to chain one and now we're going to be inserting six single crochets because single crochets are smaller into the magic ring so to make a single crochet, you don't have to yarn over anything. You just insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through both loops. Once I had six single crochets, I just pulled the end to make it tighter. And now I'm going to be ending this by slip stitching into, let's say, over here. There's no um, set way or like set place where you have to slip stitch. As long as you still have that circle shape, you should be fine because these stitches are pretty tight. Okay, I got it in and now we're just going to slip stitch. And now we can chain one or two to fasten off and cut. And you should make two of these as well. For the pink blush we're going to be starting with once again a magic ring and you're going to chain one and this time we're going to be inserting three single crochets into the magic ring so just insert your hook and make three single crochets one two and three 
Once you've got three single crochets, you're just gonna slip stitch to join it. Let's tighten. And the slip stitch is basically what gives it that circular shape. So just go in to whatever space you think will give it that circular shape. So this is my chain one, but I'm actually gonna go into probably the very first single crochet that I made. And then I'm just gonna slip stitch. And look, I have that little pretty circle shape. Then you chain one or two to secure, cut, pull, and tighten. And don't worry about this odd shape. When you sew it on, or when I sew it on, I just tuck it in, and that's what it ends up looking like. Now we're gonna be doing the brown pupil. This is probably the trickiest for me. Again, you start off with a magic ring. My yarn is really thin, which is what I'd recommend for the pupil because you don't want it to be too thick. You just chain one, just like we have for the previous details, and you just insert two single crochets. If you're using a yarn size that's the same as your pink blush, then the size will be the same as the pink blush, but I'm using a thinner yarn, so it's gonna be much smaller. Let me just show you, so it's much smaller. Than that and then you're just gonna tighten and here is the tricky part you have to slip stitch and make it into a circle but you can barely see anything so I'm just gonna struggle and do it and I'm gonna speed up this part so you guys don't have to watch me do this you could also use a thinner um, hook size a smaller hook size to make this easier for yourself but I don't have my other size of hooks with me right now so I am stuck with this. Okay so alternatively um, I'm just gonna the way that I'm gonna sew it on I'll just sew it in a way that gives it that circle shape. For right now I'm just gonna fasten off and cut because it would have been so much easier to have a smaller hook size but I don't currently. If you do have a smaller hook size please use that to make the brown pupil instead. Once you sew it on, this is basically what your eye should look like. This is what my other frog's eyes look like. And yeah, that's how you do it. You just gotta make two of these so you can have two eyes on top, two blush pieces. And now let's do the heart. I've used this heart in so many of my projects that if you've done any of my other pieces with me, then you must already know how I'm gonna do this. We're gonna start off with a magic ring and you're gonna chain two. Oops. Oh no, so chain one. My hands are so tired from magic rings. They do take a lot of strain on your fingers. And then chain two. And now we're gonna be inserting three triple crochets into our magic ring. To make a triple crochet, sorry, you're gonna yarn over two times, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two, and that is how you make a triple crochet. So we're gonna do three triple crochets into the magic ring. I'm inserting my third triple crochet. Oops. And once you have your three triple crochets, you're gonna be doing three double crochets. So for a double crochet, you yarn over once, pull through two, pull through two. So three triple, then three double, and then after your three, drop, three double, you're gonna chain one, and then you're gonna insert one triple crochet. After inserting one triple crochet, you're gonna chain one again, and now you're gonna repeat the pattern. So you're gonna do three double, and then three triple. So one double, two, and three. And now we're gonna do three triple crochets. Just gonna, I keep tightening it so I have more control over my magic ring. One, two, and our last triple crochet, which is our third. Three, and now we're gonna be chaining two, chain two, and tighten your work. 
tighten it and slip stitch right into the center. So go into the circle like that and slip stitch like this. I'm just going to tighten this a lot and then once you're done you're going to be fastening it off so you're just going to chain two and then you're going to cut. I'm going to cut a long piece so it can help me weave it in later and then don't pull yet, turn it around to the back and then pull really hard. And this is what's gonna give you like that pointy heart shape. And there you go, there's your heart. i to talk to you guys really quickly about sewing. I don't feel comfortable showing you how I sewed um, the pieces onto my frog because I follow ways that I wouldn't recommend. So it's all very hosh posh, I just do whatever works. But I wanna show you how I did the eyes. So I just pulled the yarn, the ends of the previous color, through the back. And once I pulled them, so look, I pulled the ends through here. And once I've pulled them through, I just tie a knot. And this is basically how I did the eyes. I'm going to show you the same way that I did the heart. So these are the ends that I'm talking about. I insert my hook. If you've done the cake, tissue box tutorial with me then you already know that this is my favorite way of um, sewing pieces together even though it's not sewing so you're gonna grab on to one end I'm gonna grab on to this one so okay one second you just grab onto it like this and you pull it through and you get it to the back and then you pull it and then your piece is like kind of stuck there but then you need to control it so you pull it and then you see where the second end can go so leaving a bit of space I'm gonna go in here and then I'm gonna pull that second piece through too hopefully you can see that so I pulled it through and now I have both pieces and basically when I tighten them this is where my heart ends up being and I'll tie a knot and then that's it so I'll turn it around and I'll just tie a knot to join it together. So I'm just gonna tie a regular knot. You can always double knot, triple knot to make it extra secure, but don't make it too tight, otherwise that's gonna stretch your work. So make it secure, so tight enough to be secure, but not too tight that it becomes all bunched up. So I'm doing a double knot, and look, our heart's attached. It was not so easy, I'm just gonna adjust a little bit up here. And now we're gonna do the same for the hands. I'm just gonna see where I want the hands to come. So maybe right over here, like that. And I'm gonna insert my hook through, and I'm gonna grab onto the piece of the hand, like that. And then I'm gonna put my hook in that white part over there, grab onto the green as well, oops, sorry. And I'm just going to pull really hard, and that's how my hand is attached to the heart. It is messing up my heart a little bit, so you could, as always, just sew it on properly, like, use a very thin thread and sew it on, but, um, I don't like sewing, so this is how I'm going to do it. And then I can just knot it to any of the ends here, and that's basically how I'm going to be attaching my pieces. So I just want to show you really quickly how I basically did the happy face, because I had a lot of questions about this from the pattern, and, um... <laughs> I've already done it before I remembered that I should probably include this in the video, but I used a plastic needle. I inserted it through the back, pulled it out, inserted it back, and then, so the needle was here, right? Then I inserted it right in the middle over here. Once it was up, I inserted it back in that same place, and that's what gave it this like happy face shape that you see. If you look at it closely, you can see that last um thing that i did so it was a straight line but then i went back from the inside i went up and then i went back inside again to give it this happy face shape to sew the eyes on i just took that same plastic needle and the same green yarn that i was using and just sewed it together so this edge with this edge and yeah now i'm going to be putting the blush on and then i'm going to be showing you how i'm going to put these two pieces together here I'm all done adding the details, attaching the details to my frog, it looks so cute. And now we're going to be attaching the back to the front. And the way you're going to do this is you can start from maybe where your blush is attached and then sew all the way till the other side, leaving this part open to insert your pieces. Now what I did in the original um, frog holding a heart piece is that I attach these titch buttons over here. They're super messy and they've started to come undone because I did them in such a rush. Um, but these titch buttons basically open and 
close the frog pouch you could add these i'm not going to be adding those in this one i just want as like a cute little charm pouch so i'm just going to be sewing this together so you can use your plastic needle whatever else you have been using um align the pieces together so each stitch is alongside each other and tuck all of these pieces in you can cut the ones that you want to cut before you sew everything together because afterwards it's going to be really hard. So I'm just going to start from the back, find this easier, insert it through both stitches. Pull. I think I'm going to need this much thread. I think it'll be enough. And that's it. You just go pull. And yeah, I guess that's it. You just go back and forth and back and forth. Over here, since you have the hand, you can't go back and forth um, completely. So what you're going to do is you're going to attach it to um, the sides of the hand. So I'm just going to find the back stitch. And then connect it to this stitch and pull. And this is basically how you're going to be attaching it. So back, got the stitch to the one in the back, and pull. And you're going to do this all around the frog to attach the front piece to the back piece like that. I was done sewing it. I just tied it off on both ends. This is open so I can put things inside. I still have to weave in these extra ends um, in or cut them off. And I will do that. If you want to add a titch button, you would add one here and one here so it can snap on just like the one that I showed you over here. And yeah, that's it. We're all done with our adorable little frog pouch.